sorry, everyone. I just got here. <laughs> Thanks. No, I, I was nearly late. I was seeing the Twilight movie. I, I, I've, I've been seeing it all weekend. Oh, it was... Anyway, guess what? It's Thanksgiving weekend. I'm very excited because soon I'll be uh, thanking. And they... <laughs> But you know what week it is? This is the week where Wilfred Brimley will be on this show. This is Monday. He'll be on on Wednesday. Wilfred Brimley. Yeah! Now, look. Don't do that when he gets here. He doesn't like that kind of thing. He's like, oh, I don't like that kind of thing. Right? What does he sound like again, Jeff? Diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm doing my... I'm researching about Wilfred Brimley. I'm all excited. I've got, I've got my Wilfred Brimley lunchbox from when I was a kid. I've got all my... Yeah, that's right, I have. In Scotland, I had a Wilfred Brimley lunchbox when I was working as a chimney sweep. The other urchins were like, What are you doing with that strange mustachioed gentleman on your lunchbox, Craig? And I'd say, One day I won't work up chimney tops, but I'll be in America in a... Place as dark as a chimney. But, it... <laughs> but here, sorry for cussing. Uh, but let's get out of the way now before Wilfred is here. Anyway, so I'm reading up about Wilfred Brimley, and you know when he did the movie Cocoon, and he was like, ah, oh, the people from another planet. <laughs> How was it, Jeff? Ah, uh, diabetes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, do you know what age he, he was when he did Cocoon? Forty-nine. <laughs> Know what age I am? 49. Shut up! <laughs> it's me, you ruined the whole suspense! What the? Tootsie Fruits! Eddie! <laughs> Come on. What the? Uh oh. Lady. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> you don't get to stay when Wilfred is here. <laughs> I like it, you feel so comfortable you can interrupt. <laughs> anyway, that's right. Thank you for helping. <laughs> I'm 49, which means I am old enough to be in the remake, if they do it, of uh, Cocoon, and I can be Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> but I know what you're saying. You, sir, are no Wilfred Brimley, you effete, fruity foreigner. <laughs> and I say to you, diabetes. <laughs> we'll be right back. Sponsored by Denny's. America's Diner is always open. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Most of you, thanks most of you, thanks most of the audience for your enthusiasm. Thank you for your judgment, Lesbian Row. Like everybody else is going, ah, oh, yeah, and Lesbian Row's like, mm hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Them lesbians over there, they're angry at me. For something I didn't even do. I'm being hung for a crime I didn't commit. I'm also turning into John Lovitz, apparently. <laughs> I like John Lovitz. I wouldn't mind turning into John Lovitz. Actually, I would. No disrespect to John Lovitz. 
or any of the associated CB. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Hooray! Thanksgiving week! It is. It's not a great day. Wait till you hear what happened to a couple in Florida. Florida, you say, Greg? Yes, the penis shaped state down to the south. <laughs> Can I do that? Oh, great. Can I do that a lot? Can I do, can I do that? Anyway, uh, <laughs> it might be a longer night. The, uh, no, there was a couple in Florida, which is, uh, you know, it's over here, and they were arrested for having sex, which is not illegal in Florida, but it is where they were having it. No, careful. No, it wasn't a part of their body. It was, they were, <laughs> they were arrested. They were arrested for having sex in a courthouse. <laughs> I blame the courts always using sexy terms like hung jury and <laughs> bang the gavel and another word I associate with sex, contempt. <laughs> and then another couple were arrested, but this time in Georgia, which is up here. Georgia's up here and then, uh, and then Florida is down here. So Georgia is, is <laughs> Georgia's kind of, kind of the... <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, it's up there. George is up here. And this couple were arrested, not for having sex. You know what they did? It's horrible. They gave a, a dog LSD. I know. That's awful. And afterwards, the dog said, actually, I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> That's what dogs sound like when you're tripping. I speak from experience. They're like, Craig, how are you feeling? You tripping right now? Woof, woof. <laughs> Anyway, it's a great day for us here in Hollywood. Uh, if there, this is Georgia here, this is Florida here. Hollywood is over here. <laughs> well, you can see it out the window, actually. They, Hollywood is... Sw we are swimming in cash because the Twilight movie made so much money over the weekend. Oh, good Lord! <laughs> uh, what's it called again? Uh, breaking Dawn, Breaking Wind, I don't know where... Anyway, they... <laughs> We have a, I mean, it's an insane amount of money. We've got, we have a graphic to show how much money's been made. Look, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's how much money it made. It blew up the CBS computer. <laughs> I love the Twilight movies. I can't get enough of the sensitive vampires and the Twinkie werewolves. <laughs> it's not true. I, I've never seen them. Well, I saw the first one. I thought, well, may, look, maybe this is not so bad because I used to make fun of the Harry Potter. You know, I was like, ah, oh, this is rubbish. And then I read the books and saw the movies. I changed my mind. Now I'm a total Gryffindor. <laughs> And if you don't know what that is, you're a Hufflepuff. But uh, anyway, I, uh, the, I put, so I thought, well, I'll look, I'll look at the Twilight movie. Maybe I'm wrong. So I, you know, I put it in the VCR. That's right, I've got a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> I took out my Jackie Chan movie and I put it in my... And, and I started watching it. I thought, well, this is in fact awful. <laughs> It's crap! Now, to be fair, I only made it through the first half hour. Maybe it got better. I couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't do that to myself, though. I would, it would be like saying, this really hurts when I rub this cheese grater on my genitals, but, but maybe it'll get better. I, and besides, my quesadilla isn't finished, but I... <laughs> I shouldn't, I don't really get that. Anyway, they are. I shouldn't diss Twilight. That's right, I said diss. <laughs> Twilight's not, it's not for me, I understand that. It's not for me, I'm too old. Which explains the weird looks I get when I show up in Hot Topic. <laughs> Twilight's for, for younger people, you know, uh, but that's why I don't like it. It sends a bad message. It teaches young people that vampires have feelings and werewolves have sexy. What's sex, what's that sexy werewolf's name, Jacob? Yes. <laughs> Do we have a picture of Jacob from Twilight, do we? Well, that's... Uh, very sexy. I feel a bad moon rising. 
It's too bad the Twilight's ruined vampires, because I like vampires. They live for eternity. How long is eternity, Craig? Well, think of Kim Kardashian's marriage and add eternity. <laughs> but... <laughs> You'll never let that go. Oh, come on, it's only been a couple of weeks. Anyway, they, uh... <laughs> I hate the fact that the Twilight vampires do not turn into bats. That is so unrealistic. Everyone knows in real life vampires turn into bats. <laughs> they fly through the windows of unsuspecting young ladies in negligees. The lady's like, I'll just open the window. <laughs> I'll let the wind caress my heaving bosom. That's the least feminine voice I've ever done, isn't it? I mean, my regular voice I'm doing now is more feminine than that voice. <laughs> anyway, I suppose people like Twilight for, you know, for the love triangle between the three main characters. I've never been part of a love triangle. I was once in a love octagon. <laughs> Best damn cage fight of my life. So obviously I don't like Twilight, yet somehow I know the names of all the characters, Jacob, Edward and Bella. How, why do I know that? Because some things are ingrained in pop culture, they're just unavoidable, like the fact I know Ryan Gosling's middle name is Thomas, his birthday is November the 12th, he has a mole on his left inner thigh. <laughs> Shouldn't I know that? Call me Ryan. <laughs> Call me Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see you gonna see that Twilight movie? Oh yeah, yeah, big fan. You surprised me. I didn't think you'd like it. Oh yeah, show me that picture of Jacob again. Yeah, sure, you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, you like yeah, that? Yeah, that's it. That's what you like. Yeah, you like a bear, that kind of thing. I do like the bear with the long hair. <laughs> is he holding a gun? Yeah, I think he is actually. You see again? <laughs> yeah, he's so. Yeah. yeah, that's an open invitation to party. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of freaked me out because I didn't notice that until right now. And now I think, wait a minute, we got a photograph of a badass looking guy holding a gun and naked. Where the hell did we get that? <laughs> and how do I get in touch with him? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, 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 all right. You want to do the... Uh... Yeah, sure, why All right. <laughs> Four out of five doctors agree. Watching the Late Late Show before bedtime may cause night sweats, gasping, wheezing, shortness of breath, diabetes, Wilford Brimley, Haggis, and my TARDIS. Please, somebody unplug me. Craig makes me do bad things in my pants. <laughs> We're going crazy! Turkeys are being murdered every night! <laughs> every night they wander out here. <laughs> if you're a turkey and you're watching this show, who's that at the door? <laughs> last week. Uh, yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I decided, oh, you know what? Let's go back. All right. Did you have a nice time in London? Because I know that's where you were headed. Yes. It was, it was fabulous. <laughs> or as they say there, brilliant. Oh, they do say brilliant for everything. They say they? actually, Ooh, la, la. brilliant. Yes, they do. I see you picked up their habits. Yes, uh, So long, Robin's dentist. <laughs> God bless us all. God bless us all. <laughs> that was all work for you. That was it. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Terry Thomas School of Acting. <laughs> to ter Terry, I loved Terry oh, Thomas. Oh, he was always he, a he, I loved it when he said, he was. He said, you're Jerry, you're an absolute char. You're <laughs> <laughs> an absolute char. Get in the back of that van. You've, be, you've behaved abysmally in this war. It's amazing, too, with all those war movies where they always had the Germans who had English accents. So, open now. <laughs> yeah, but they do that in, in Rome as well, when it's like Roman... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! <laughs> oh, Brutus, come here for the not knowing my name and calling me thus. We shall go there. Stand behind me, gentle friend. <laughs> they never had, like, a really hardcore Italian Caesar go, what are you going to do right now, huh? <laughs> Yeah, right there. Hey, hello! 
we're gonna just send him in a chair. Hey. All right. We're just doing the emails, would you? Well, right, well, yeah. All right, take me through that. Uh, this is from Dean in, in Detroit, Michigan. You ever been to Detroit? Uh, lived there for many years. Did you really? My dad was in the automobile industry. Oh, he was not. Yes, he was. <laughs> Hence the cars every week. <laughs> we moved back and forth between Detroit and Chicago, but carry Did you on. really? Yes, sir. Did you really? Yes, sir. I'm very excited. Let's talk even higher. <laughs> so that only dogs can hear us. Yes. And eventually there'll be one person coming in. He says, hi, Craig and Robin. That's amazing that they knew that you were going to be here. I didn't know you were going to be here, but look, here it is. Craig right <laughs> <now>, yeah. <laughs> and Robin, right there. Addendum. Uh, I made friends with a guy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sitting next to me at a hockey game recently and exchanged numbers to hang out. <laughs> is there ah, the old puck sucker guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything wrong with a man? There's nothing wrong with it. Not at all. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. If, yeah. You know, if you're gay, you're gay. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. There's no right or wrong to it. Right? Not at all, no, son. No. <laughs> this is from Sean in Atlanta, Georgia. You ever been down there, Atlanta, Georgia? Been down there many times. You know, the devil, the devil went down to Georgia. When really? And what happened? Uh, the devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Devil went down to Georgia right there. <laughs> Devil went down there, had some fried food, and went, Crikey, I'm going back to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Dear uh, Craig and Robin, uh, my mother surprised me by driving me in for Thanksgiving, but my wife can't stand her. Uh-oh. <laughs> How do I ease holiday family tensions? I always pray for heroin. I don't know what wrong. <laughs> what do you think, Robin? Well, there's an old, an old Georgia tradition. is a big bottle of Jack. Yeah, it's much the same uh, yeah. effect, you know. Yeah, the, and then basically after a little while, all of a sudden, Mama's like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Mama. God bless you. <laughs> and then to add to that the tryptophan from the turkey. Tryptophan? Oh, that, ah. that, that, that's the good stuff. Yeah. You should sell that street corner. Hey, gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Turkey junkies. Yeah, go. Yo, man, I got giblets, stuff man. in giblets, I got giblets. giblets and tryptophan. Yeah. And I got sweet potatoes in the back. <laughs> Don't be afraid right now. Do you know, once I was walking through when they used to sell uh, drugs in Tompkins Square Park in New York before it was hipsters and their prams, there used to be uh, there used to be a guy that, like, everyone else was selling Sensamelia, but all these guys going, Sensamelia, Sensamelia, Sensamelia. But there was one guy in a bright orange jumpsuit and a green clown wig and go, Acid, acid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Acid. Yeah. Take it out. Had no effect on me. Right. <laughs> Step into another dimension. <laughs> Acid right here. Acid. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Look on the back. <laughs> uh, Sarah in Rock Springs, Wyoming. You ever been up there? Like to go fishing up there, do you? Uh, no, I haven't been up there right there. I'm always afraid I'll end up on a river and somebody going, Hey, pretty boy. <laughs> You are pretty. You're, you're prettier since you got married. You know that. You, I mean, you have. You got. You, you always had the sparkly eyes, but now you. Now you're. Uh, I guess it's the. It's the. It's the unattainable thing makes you even more attractive. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
your dad's here. <laughs> he parked the van out back. <laughs> we didn't know I saw it in a medical dictionary and I named you. <laughs> Where's your sister, Gonorrhea? Get over here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> chlamydia, chlamydia, everywhere. <laughs> I just, she's out and about and going in there. What's oh, having you good? Down there? <laughs> chlamydia, this fall. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this, <laughs> this is so. That, I hope that helps. Uh, this is from Denise in Orlando, Florida. Uh, you ever been down there? Yes, sir. Sure. All right. Uh, the dear Craig and Robin, my boyfriend and I made a special tape together. Uh-oh. Oh. But we broke up a few weeks ago. How do I get it back? Send it here. Send it, Send it here. Care of Craig and Chlamydia. Yeah. A special tape. Oh, wow. Everybody's out and about. Yeah. <laughs> Including in Chlamydia. Watch out. The last thing you hear is this. <laughs> You, mate. No, no, no. My God, his trousers got pixelated. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, this is from Tonya in Charlottesville, Virginia. I don't know if you can tell, but Tonya's a tit. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Boys and girls, that's a bird. And a woodpecker is, too. Unless you're a puppet. And so is a cop. <laughs> yeah. It's a bird. And they both crow. <laughs> I'm but, done. All right. Uh, <laughs> but you don't go into a bar looking for a rooster. I got a bar. <laughs> or you'll walk out with. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they got it eventually. Yeah. You saw it. I was like, oh, and then there they are. Uh, uh, right uh, and then it landed. Yeah, yeah, right there. Whoever he's out yeah, there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Hey, Craig and Robin, I've been a vegetarian for eight years. Are you a vegetarian? No, sir. Okay. I've been but I do have a cow valve, which is kind of weird. I can't, I can't eat meat because it's like I'm one of them now. Oh. And the good thing about a cow valve is I can Crikey. standing up. Hey, I don't have a cow valve, but I can do that. <laughs> you can, but people won't give you the whole noon. <laughs> He's got a cow valve. Well, that's okay, Mr. Williams. <laughs> I don't have a cow valve, but I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> I've been a vegetarian for eight years, and my doctor suggested I start introducing meat into my diet. What should I start with? <laughs> if... All yours, Robert. All right. <laughs> well, if you're a dangerous person, spam right off the bat. That's kind of getting all the meat products, every part of the cow, in one little box. <laughs> and if your body's still... And if your bowels don't just go, BAM! <laughs> Oh, they, they'll do it. I say go a little easier. Spams, you know, you, you know that's a little much too soon. Oh, I no, wait. You can do haggis. Haggis, that's true. Right. This is a vegetarian haggis. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. That'll just blow your cheeks apart. <laughs> that's like a... I call her... Chlamydia. Hey, <laughs> that one there. All right. Bobby, go get me the chlamydia kit then. <laughs> You've got... Did you see? <laughs> Did you say chlamydia, your dad's here? What? Yeah. Did you say chlamydia, your dad's here? Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. That's the one you don't want to have over the loudspeaker. <laughs> chlamydia, my courtesy phone, chlamydia. Uh, uh, yeah, um, no. All right, then. All right, happy Thanksgiving. Robert Williams, everybody. This week on The Late Late Show, Jason Siegel, Ty Burrell, and Wilford Grimley. You cannot come. My whole family will be there. I don't want you to be at my house for Thanksgiving dinner. You will, you will freak people out. But you promised. No! <laughs> you can't come. People, my family are, are from Scotland. They're coming over specially for the traditional Scottish holiday of Thanksgiving. And they... Because they celebrate the time the pilgrims <laughs> left. <laughs> Where are all these people with the big hats going? <laughs> Who bag it? Cares. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, they, uh, no, you can't come. Look, I'm sorry. I won't do the thing I did with the giblets last year. <laughs> All right, maybe. I have to get on. All right, go ahead. Go okay. On. Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight. No. Uh, knock it off. Uh, <laughs> thanks for helping. My first proper guest stars on the Big Bang Theory on Thursdays at 8 o'clock on CBS. Take a look at that. Please welcome Johnny Galecki, everybody. Johnny Galecki. Johnny, thanks. How I'm lovely to see you. I've Good always to see you. It's wonderful to be back. Well, it's very nice to see you. I'm always happy to see you. But I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. You know that I said Galecki. Yes. And that's your name. Correct. Right. But I have this urge to say Galecki. That would be wrong. I know. <laughs> but where I think it was originally pronounced Gaweski. Gaweski. And then is it Polish? Was... Yes. I see. Have you ever been to Poland? I've not. Do you enjoy vodka? No. <laughs> Do you like potatoes? Sure. Well, there you are. One out of three isn't bad, is no, it? No, no. That's right. You should probably go to Poland. I think it's meant to be very nice. Uh, I've heard wonderful things about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. My but... wife's family, part of their, uh, you know, business comes from Poland. And by business, I mean genitals. Yeah, what do you mean by I that? I don't know. <laughs> what are the... What are the... Uh, are you part of a Polish community? Do you all get together and tell Polish stories to each other? <laughs> I know. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think it's time... Oh, well, no, I am from Chicago, which is a massive... Well, Polish there's community. a lot... No, they're right there. You've got I believe... the sausages. I'm not... <laughs> Um, that's true. That's from Poland originally. I don't know if this is true any longer, but I, at one point when I was growing up there, Chicago had a larger Polish community than Warsaw. Just a little something to learn. Yeah. I, I, I come to edify. As right, well as that, that's good. I, I'm afraid none of these people know what edify means. <laughs> and by these people, I mean me. Next uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, so well, you haven't been to Poland, but where have you been then? In Europe. In Europe specifically. In Europe. I love Paris. I go to Paris often. I've been really? to Scotland. I love Scotland. Really? You went to Scotland? I did. Really? Where, what part of Scotland? Uh, I actually I flew into London, rented a car, drove all the way up the west coast, went up to the Orkney Islands there. Wow, that's really far And north. all the way down the, the east coast. It took about two weeks. Did yeah. you see the Loch Ness Monster? And by that, I mean a penis? <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, did you see the Loch Ness Monster? You're just driving towards I that. I don't know what it is. Uh, I it's, hope it's me. I hope I bring that out. You. Well, do, you do a little guest? bit. And yeah. also, uh, you know, it's Brimley week. I'm very excited. I'm very excitable. You know, uh -huh. I, I'm thankful that... Wilf As in Wilford, yeah. yeah Wilford sure. Brimley is coming here. Mm -hmm. I sometimes want to say Wilfred. Wilfred uh, It's Will Ford. It's, yeah. yeah, I call him Wilf Wilfred Galicki. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, he'd probably punch me right in the teeth. Maybe. He seems like a tough guy. He's a badass. Yeah. yeah. I, went to, I went to the lock where Nessie is supposed to be. I did not see her. It's a creepy place. Have you it's been very there? It's very uh, creepy. Yeah, it's yeah. very creepy. <laughs> It's gloomy. It's I heard. I don't know if this is true either, but I, I heard the birds fly around it. Yes, they do. They is don't fly true? over. No, you know they why? don't. Why? Because there are no snacks. <laughs> birds like snacks, and it's a long. I mean, they they think. Yeah. Why why fly over when we can fly around and take a snack on Have the way? It's not like they've got. And it's not like they've got an appointment. They're birds. Right. I uh, took it in a much more mystical way, but... What, what, do you believe in all that? Are you a believer in strange and mystical... I don't know if I subscribe to it as much as I'm interested in it. Really? Yeah. Do you have Why? A, do you have a ghost no. story or something? <laughs> well, they do say on a dark night... Yes. You can still hear Wilford Brimley. <laughs> That's you all you seen, have to say. You ever seen a ghost? Not as far, uh, no, I've felt some odd presences, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, no, that, come on, let's go, what's the odd I presences? It's happening right now? Yeah. yeah <laughs> do you believe, do you believe in the beyond and the hereafter and the, uh, and the, you know... I don't see reason to believe. I don't see reason why not to believe. Well, How, how's that? It seems it's a very Switzerland type answer. Yeah, no, it's yeah. good. You ever been to Switzerland? I haven't. <laughs> so you went, you went to Scotland. You went to Paris. Paris is lovely. We went to you Paris. Like Paris. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's yep. great. Do you enjoy the uh, pastries and baked goods there? Yeah, you're very interested in the cuisines that are there. As far as that. 
Yes, potatoes. I'm hungry, I like actually. Yeah, 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 I, know. I think I'm a little hungry. Snacks and potatoes. I'm and like, pastries. it's true. I've asked yeah. you all about. I think I'm hungry. I can get you a little something from the no, back. No, yeah. no, it's fine. Okay. I, I just, I realize that's what it is. I'm hungry, so, um, so let's change it to something yep. else that I enjoy. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm terrified right now. Well, yeah. let's have, what's something that you enjoy then? What's no, your... no, I want to know. No, 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 no. What's now, your, on, no, what what's a, your strange little what sex tease. thing that nobody knows about? Let's, let's, let's have that one then. How long is the segment? How long can you last? <laughs> wow. Well, we so, just, we're just the picture of class. No, we? all right, right. All right, so what do you do for your spare time then if you don't have a devious sexual life? What do you, uh, <laughs> sorry, not devious, deviant. Yes. Uh, Again, do, uh, do you have a hobby? Do you fly airplanes? Do you ride horses, even imaginary ones? Do you play video games? What do you do? <laughs> Imaginary horses, yes, ghost horses. All right. I uh, meant in the clip because you were doing a video game. Right? Oh, Did that's that? right. Yes. That was exhausting, by the way. Yeah, it looked it. And I like to, I exercise often, but I, they had written we, just previous to that scene were two dinner scenes that I had to eat throughout. Oh. So uh, yeah, playing that that horse game like that after two meals was not. Uh, I didn't feel so great afterwards. Wow, that's. But, uh, yeah, it's, but as long as people enjoyed it. Yeah, it's the main thing, you know. It's yeah. Uh, 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 are you riding? Yeah, well, why are you pointing at my lower thigh? <laughs> I mean, you can. I just want to know if there's anything in it. In my hand? Is there anything in your hand? No, there's nothing in my hand. All right, I, I don't know. I, don't I said. I don't. I just. I wondered if you might have a cracker or a piece of bread. Oh, no. or something. <laughs> Can we get... <laughs> there's got to be a sandwich uh, around no, here. Uh, sorry. I, I saw I, they have mints no, there. You want a mint look, or I'm something? I'm fine. You I'll need fine. nourishment. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm worried it's, about it's, you. It's fine. You've yeah. lost weight since I was here last, no wonder, by the way. I'm starving. I, I see. Uh, no, I do. I exercise, too. I like to... How do you exercise? You stopped drinking coffee or something. I no, no. I started drinking it again. Oh, you did? Yeah, but not as much. Of, I, didn't have, I don't have as much milk. I used to have the giant well, lattes, that and that was your... There's your problem right there. Right. That was it. Well, a lot of milk. I mean, milk's designed to make you fat. It's sure. to make baby cows fat. That's what it's designed for. Yeah. So, you know, a baby cow, <laughs> moo, you yeah. know. Uh, so I, I decided I'd better cut back. What do, what do you do then to stay in shape? I, I, I run a lot. I like to, I like to run. I like to run. Yeah. And then the elliptical. I've been doing a little bit of that lately. I like it too, but it makes you look very effete when you're doing it. Uh, you know, that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I understand, though. I like to do it. I mean, it really yeah. kicks your ass, but it's a, ooh, it's quite yeah. a look doing it. Uh, I don't know if you have to do it like that. I think 90% of the issue is the facial expression that you, you, when you do it. Well, that's what helps me exercise. Yeah. My, because running, I'm like... Yeah, you feel you tough. Feel, I feel tough, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm, you know, training for a cage match. Right. Huh, really? <laughs> that's tough. No, I'm not that tough. No. Maybe for just a... A different type of cage match. Do you... I don't know why I did that. I'm I sorry. Don't know. I, uh... Is that what you do? You like to run? You don't do any. Do you like to run? It's my, my my exercise schedule is pretty much based on what new album has come out that I've been doing. I do. do you that listen to music? Yeah, I, I have to. Yeah. If I forget my I pod, I forget it. I'm not getting on it. Yeah, no, I, I hate doing it as well because it's so awfully boring to exercise, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's what they don't tell you, like, all these infomercials, like, it's great fun. No, it's not. No. It's not, it's not great fun. You've got to no. do it or you'll get fat and die. Yeah. But, but it's not fun. Nobody right. likes it. You've got to try and distract yourself in mm. some way. And some people say, well, I go because it's, it's social for me. And that seems the worst. Then I don't want to talk to people no, there. Oh, you're right. No. I want to be on my own. Like Why? 10 years ago, I joined a gym, and, the, and that was the problem. I don't want to talk to people there. No, but no. now you have the, everyone has the earbuds That's in. That's true, yeah. Half the time, I'm not playing music, but I just go, I, 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 I'll talk to you. I'm busy. To, to the new Foo Fighters, it's yeah, great. Yeah, I'll yeah. talk to you later. I like the Foo Fighters. <laughs> I do too, very much. Do you know why I, I thought when, when Dave Grohl started Foo Fighters, I thought, mm -hmm. really, Foo Fighters, Dave? Because mm -hmm. the name, I thought, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. But Dave was right and I was wrong. <laughs> Dave, you were right and I was wrong. <laughs> I apologize, Dave. I'm glad you guys cleared that up. Yeah, no. It's been weighing it's heavily on. It's been a feud that's been bouncing around yeah. my mind for many years. Yeah. <laughs> were you a fan of Nirvana? I was, of course. Yeah, yeah, me too. Of course. Have you ever thrown a baby in a swimming pool to get that shot? Yeah. <laughs> of 
course. Because that's illegal. You can't do. You can't do that. I found that out the hard way. I uh, think. Yeah. I think that's a state-to-state -state law, though. You yeah, can look that up. Who knows? I live in California. Yeah. You're from Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever go back there? I do. I go back there often. My siblings are, are back there, and I'm very close close with them. My sister's just had a niece, my first niece. She had, well, it's her daughter. That's my lovely. Yeah. Niece. And, uh, I'm sure she my thought, brother finally a niece for Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> My brother and I are in fierce competition for, for Uncle of the Year, uh, which has been uh, fun. I, got, I, did, I, I mean, he's got nothing on me. He's really got nothing. Well, what's he got? I mean, what does he do? He works in the auto industry. He and I are that's, very, that's very... pretty good. It's pretty cool and masculine. Yeah, yeah no, it's real. Is he, uh, is he in Detroit? He's in Chicago. He's very, very mechanical. That's, and pretty, I, I think that's he, good. I'd like a mechanical uncle. <laughs> I, I mean, I got, I got a mechanical pal yeah. right over there. Hey. Now I see where you get it. Yeah. yeah. He used to see a little machine all the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hear that sound? That's the sound of birds flying around the show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm going to lay out. I'm going to give him. That was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, gonna, no, sure. don't, don't give him money, man. Why not? Don't give him money. He doesn't, know, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to use it. He, I mean, he, he, money doesn't mean anything to All him. All right, well, then you take it. <laughs> you gave me $5 last time I was here. Really? I'll give, you, I'll give you 50 if you answer the question right now. What question? Well, I don't know. It's the big cash prize question. That's what all the, it's what all the celebrities do. They come here and they can make 50 bucks, which for a Hollywood celebrity is a lot of money. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So, what well, you want to you want to do that? Well, I, it's usually I, I, how we end the end. Not it. gonna take a shot. Yeah. yeah, I'll take yeah a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah. Why not? They, hey, you could use this 50, 50 bucks and give it to your new little uh, nephew. I'm gonna go buy you a sandwich. Is what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> you find me a fifty dollar sandwich. I'm coming with. <laughs> All right. So. $50, uh, all in singles, acceptable at any strip club in these United States. The, uh, oh, this is a good one. All right, are you ready? You get this right, uh, and you'll be good. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Reykjavik. No, no, wait. <laughs> its capital city is Reykjavik, pronounced Reykjavik. Mm, Johnny Kaliki. Um, so, here's the question. Yeah. The idea of Nirvana is part of which religion? Buddhism or Hinduism? Wow. Uh, I will say uh, Hinduism. <laughs> By that, I mean Buddhism. You won! $50 for the Galaki If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> that must mean thank you!